when you're expecting to have a baby, especially at that last three months, or if you're in those final weeks or days or whatever, that you're just waiting for your little one to arrive, there are so many emotions that we as parents experience. Some of it is, oh my gosh, I can't wait for my baby to come. I can't wait to hold him or her. I can't wait to snuggle and see their face and all this stuff. And then on the flip side, there's these emotions that we have like, oh my gosh, I am in charge of caring for a human and there's like anxiety and there's fear. Um, and I mean, I remember when I was pregnant with my first that I was thinking, um, I killed my little teacup cactus because I didn't water it enough. How am I possibly going to care for a little human that's made in the image and likeness of God that has a soul? Oh my gosh, how, how is God allowing this to happen? Um, but, you know, we can look back at Mary, actually, because Mary's this young girl. She's about 15 years old. Motherhood is not on her radar. And she finds out that she's going to be the mother of God, like God incarnate coming within her. And she's supposed to raise him as a baby and like his, like his whole life. That's insane. Like, think of how she must feel. And so she, I mean, she can totally relate to us while we're like freaking out. How am I going to raise this little baby? I'm sure she had lots of questions too. How am I going to raise God? Um, but we look to Mary and even though Mary had no clue what was going to happen, she said, yes. Okay, God, how am I possibly going to raise your son? I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I trust you. I, I trust that you have um, entrusted Jesus to me for a purpose, and we can trust that God has entrusted our children to us for a reason. Um, I also think back to Mary in that third trimester while she is on a donkey, she's taking a trip to Bethlehem, and I, in my third trimester, I did not want to travel anywhere because, number one, I don't want to sit in the car because that hurts, and number two, it's just terrifying traveling anywhere when you're in your third trimester, and I just think, you know, Mary is a, in this unknown place. Um, she's with Joseph. It's uncomfortable. It's scary, um, and she just... And every part of her life, she just keeps saying, yes, yes, yes. Um, we need to be able to model Mary in our yes too, even though it's scary, even though there's anxiety, even though there might be fear of the unknown, um, there might be impatience, but um, know that in everything that God is walking with us and he, um, he has a plan for our lives. I just love this verse from Jeremiah 29, 11. Just remember, um, for I know well the plans I have in mind for you, says the Lord. Plans for your welfare, not for woe. Plans to give you a future full of hope. When you call to me, when you go to pray to me, I will listen to you. So if you are pregnant or in that third trimester or... Um, just really feeling like you don't know what you're doing and it, there, it's scary, there's anxiety, just know um, that God has plans for you and it's for your good and not for evil. And he's always there listening and all we need to do is just talk to him, tell him how we feel. Um, it might not magically make us, you know, feel super confident that we got this, but um, God gives us the grace to be able to carry out this crazy adventure that we call parenting. See you next time on Beyond the Pew.